Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. I'm sat in a Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. Next to me is a Turbo S Coupe. Next to that is a 991.2 GT3. And we're gonna have a Porsche wide drag race. I wanna see how much difference there is between the Coupe and the Cabriolet because this is slightly heavier. They both have 3.8 litre flat six twin turbo with 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. But this is over 1700 kilos, whereas that's just over 1600 kilos. They both got four wheel drive, eight speed automatics. Over in the far side, though we've got a gt3 which is being driven by its owner you can follow him at, at supercar harry and he's got a naturally aspirated flat six four litre with 500 horsepower and 460 newton meters of torque his car weighs just over 1400 kilos he's got weight advantage though he's only rear wheel drive and it's starting to rain and i've got the roof down so we better crack on with this drag race i've got yanni driving the turbo s all right yanni how you doing you ready it's raining, let's just do it. Just quickly, traction on, traction off. You pick it as you want to do it, it's your choice. It's your mistake if it goes wrong. Let's get on with this race because I'm getting wet and Harry's getting worried about going off and into the grass. All right, come on. Drive it on or off, I don't know what to do. I'll leave on. Three, two, one. Yeah, but you only have to lie. Don't know what that GT3 is doing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's getting plus three. Harry, just bringing up the rear. Did you have the traction on or off now? Answer me that. My reaction was better than yours, mate. <laughs> but was your traction on or off? That's what I want to know. I just leave it all on and just put it in Sports Plus. It's fine. Such a <laughs> It's bloody raining, I want to crack on with this. <laughs> Get out of this car. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Turbo S Cabriolet and the Coupe both completed the standing quarter mile in 10.4 seconds, which is only 0.3 of a second slower than the best time we've previously had from a coupe in the dry. The freeze frame shows that in this race, the Cabriolet managed to just beat the lighter coupe thanks to a slightly better start. Meanwhile, the rear wheel drive GT3 tried its best in the wet conditions, but was no match for the all wheel drive and more powerful Turbo S's. Mind you, it still did a respectable 11.6 second quarter mile time. Rolling race in normal mode from 50 miles an hour, cars in automatic. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. Oh, Harry. Ah. Yes, I got away, I got away. Look at that turbo coupe go, I've got too much drag. It's getting noisy! It's gone! It's pouring down rain, 150, 160, yeah, this probably ain't the best thing to do. This is horrible! This is horrible. GT3 sounds bloody awesome though. That turbo, the coupe is just better. Obviously, it's slightly lighter as well, although probably not with Yanni in it. Damn! Now you're going to do the same thing again, rolling race, but this time the cars are in sports mode, in manual, third gear. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the GT3 took off there. Naturally aspirated engine. Here we go. Now no one can hear me because it's too loud! That turbo is definitely more aerodynamic! And I've gone past the GT3! Oh, I'm stopping! Stopping, I'm not enjoying this! Why is it still accelerating? 170, 180. Why? 
Matthew, has your bottom gone a little bit like, ooh, because you slowed down early, 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 early. I just, yeah, it's not pleasant in here, actually, at like 100 plus miles an hour with the roof down. I'm not enjoying this. Forgot to fit the wind deflector. Now we're going to do a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. Here comes the line. Wow! <laughs> wow. What are you doing, Yanni? <laughs> Did you lose your radio? Radio went and the seatbelt proper gripped me in, mate. That was like an accident. I ain't going to lie, that hurt. So it looks like you won that, Harry. You got the lighter car. No, no, don't move, don't move. You don't move until we've got the shots to show the difference. It doesn't really matter that much because you did win anyway, but people want to see the difference. I think I could move forward six foot and still be winning. All right. Guys, I'm getting a little bit wet here. This is where the cameraman takes the piss. He's going to take ages over this look. So I feel his pain. These guys are out in the wet the whole time, whereas I'm normally nice and comfy. Are you nice and dry in your cars, guys? It's beautiful in here, nice aircon on, just chilled, nice. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, just sat here in the rain. <laughs> I should probably do this. There we go, that's better. Then I don't end up with a swimming pool inside the car. It looks nice with the roof up and the roof down, to be fair. When I had a Porsche many moons ago, 996, I used to have the hard top. They don't make them anymore and they should do, that would be great. It's rubbish, I hated the hard top, it looked absolutely horrible. I loved it. Because it felt like I had a coupe in the winter and a convertible in the summer. The hardtop on it looked so much nicer and it actually sat wider on the roof. It was cool. What do you reckon? I reckon it looked horrible. Let us know below. Danny will be looking at the comments as well. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Also, let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel as well and hit that bell icon to turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single video. Also, check out Yanni's channel, Yanni Mize, and follow Harry on Instagram, at Supercar Harry, and follow me as well on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars. Is that too much for you to all remember? Please do it. Please do all of it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.